Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video today. Uh, I wanted to start off by saying thank you guys for clicking on the video. Uh, we're gonna have some fun today. I'm really excited. We have a bucket full of live croakers here. Now I fish live croakers. I, I try not to fish them too often because honestly I, I gotta buy them and they're pretty expensive. Um, but they're a super fun bait to fish. In some areas you can catch them. For what I know, most most of the time the only place to catch them around me is off the beach. And you can actually catch quite a, like you can catch them pretty good off the beach. But when I'm fishing in the river, it's just not realistic or to work anything like that. Um, so I buy them, but they work amazing for snook. You guys know that in my last uh, video with croakers a couple, I think it was over a, a month and a half, two months ago. Uh, I wanted to do a lot better than I actually did. They're a great bait and you can catch a lot of big snook but I only caught one really good snook in that video and uh, I think I can do better. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I got uh, my heavy setup with me. I got a medium setup here. And uh, I was actually out here yesterday, yesterday so I got a really good feel for what's gonna happen today. I also got a few other areas I wanna hit that I didn't get to hit yesterday. So overall, I'm really excited. And also it was gonna storm yesterday around 11.30 and today it looks like I'm gonna have a bit more of a window before it starts to storm. So that being said, it's nice and cool right now. I'm ready to go and uh, we're gonna have a fun day. So thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Once again, we're gonna catch them. Let's, uh, let's go. I gotta get to the spot. It's time to go. Let's go. between 35 and 40. He's pretty dang close. No, Jack. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No way. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's it. Oh, he's fine. Got him. Got him. There it is. Finally. Got it. Yep. All right guys, so I sort of planned for this because I was out here yesterday, like I said, but there is a huge school, a uh, giant black drum just over my shoulder here, and uh, we're gonna try to catch them. And yesterday was rough for a few reasons. I forgot 60 pound leader, I forgot my pliers, and I forgot my gulp shrimp because um, those three things are very important in fishing, and gulp shrimp very important for this reason right now giant black drum we're gonna see if we can catch some um, they're in an area I've really never seen them before uh, so I don't know if it's just a, a freak thing or what but we're gonna try to catch them they were huge I mean 40 inches minimum so I have savage gear shrimp and I have gulp shrimp in the boat one of them's got to work one of them's got to work they are beautiful tailing right now so I'm gonna sneak right up on them and we're gonna try our best let's do it All right, so I am all tied up and ready to go. Decided to throw on the Savage Gear Shrimp right here because it's one of the bigger shrimp I have. They're tailing really well over my shoulder. I'm gonna sneak up in there and do my best to just uh, put it on them and see if I can get a bite. If I, uh, if I don't get a bite, we'll probably switch to a gulp shrimp, but I'll start with this first. All right, here they are right here. There are giant tails jumping out of the water there. Look at that. I'm gonna try to put this in there and just fingers crossed hope for the best. I'm on one. I'm on one, but I don't know if I foul hooked him. I honestly couldn't tell. I dropped it right there in the middle of school. Might have foul hooked one. I cannot tell though. We are on. I'm gonna assume that he ate it. I didn't feel a thumb. It feels kind of weird, but we'll see here. Let me see. Oh my gosh. We're in him now. We're on top of him. If this guy is foul hooked, I don't really want to. Unless it's not even a drum. Oh, yep. It came off. He was foul hooked. Oh. Right here on top of him now. I need him to bite, like I need him to be like up and happy. Which it seems like no matter what I do, every like minute or two, they just kind of 
pop up and move a little bit even when I was far away from them so let's see these strum are interesting right now well I tried the savage gear for a good minute tossing around on them it seems like they're just like in they're just kind of in a mood right now I'm gonna switch to the gulp and see if that does any better if not I'll have to just let them go I guess but I think I can get one to eat I just need the right one to be up on the surface This one feels like he ate it, not to lie. This one feels like he ate it. He's taking off like he ate it too. Oh, yep, that one's in his mouth. There we go. It is about time, man. Dude, I felt that. <laughs> no way. There goes the school. Oh, it is about time. What it took is the big... Yep, there he goes. What it took was the big purple gulp shrimp, the four-incher on a circle hook so it floats and well not floats but just sinks below the surface that's what it took i tried s probably six different combos of baits this is a 35 pound drum right here i probably found i tried six different combos of baits to get get this to work different cr different colored gulp shrimp i tried the savage gear shrimp i tried jig heads Dude, this thing's a monster <laughs> <laughs> yes Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Whew. All right. So we finally found one here after trying for 30 minutes. The sun came out as well, right as this fish ate. So got on the uh, Pen Slammer 2500 Fenwick Elite Inshore seven foot medium. This thing's dumping me. This is a big drum. I can feel I'm bumping into the other fish. Thing is a giant. It's about time, man. Like I said, oh my gosh. Oh, that is a 40 inch black drum right there. That is a monster. Check that out. Now, he might not be 40, but he's between 35 and 40. He's pretty dang close. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. That gulp shrimp right in the corner of his mouth. That's what it took. It took the bigger one and to get it to float. These guys are not on the bottom feeding on things. So I tried the jig head for a little bit. And uh, ultimately I was like, I just need to put a circle hook on so I can float it through there. Dude, that thing is a beast. That's like a 40 pound drum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. That is the biggest drum out of my Ginu. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. All right. I think what I'm going to pretty much do here, this thing is just a little bit too big to bring into the boat. If I'm going to be honest, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to grab him, pull that hook out and let him go on his way. That thing is a monster. <sighs> that is a monster drum. Oh yeah. He's drumming for real. That is not a little puppy. <laughs> that is a 40 pounder at least. Biggest drum of, that's almost the biggest drum of my life. I caught one bigger on fly a few years back, but we're just gonna go ahead and pop this circle hook right out of his lip there. And I'm gonna send him on his way and be real quick with this fish. I've been fishing him for a good while this morning. So we definitely wanna pay our respect, <laughs> respect to them and let him go on his way quick. Oh my gosh, wow, that's, I mean, I saw that they were big in the water, um, but not that big. That was a 40 pounder. I mean, had to have been. The the the, the girth was like this big around. Um, so I don't know where the school went. I'm honestly not, I'm probably gonna try the school for another minute or two. I'm super happy with that. Um, but that was epic. <laughs> that was a good fight. It was quick too. That was, uh, that fight probably took not even a minute and a half. Quick. I'm gonna see if I have the gulp here. Let me see if it's still on. Yep, there it is right there, the purple one. That got it done on that big drum. I tried a couple different colors, tried a couple different weights, but just uh, basically free lining it, letting the shrimp just sink with the weight of its, itself. 
probably kept it a few inches below the surface and uh, we got one man we got one all right I'm gonna see if I can pick up the school one more time give him a shot if not we're gonna go snook fishing or actually maybe I'll try throwing for the pompano I was seeing earlier as well that was awesome all right, well, I sat around for like another 10 minutes, didn't see the uh, the school of black drum pop up again. They're around here somewhere, and I'm sure they'll be out here tomorrow tailing and having fun, but for today, they're probably just gonna move out and hang out somewhere else for the rest of the day, I would bet. Um, but I did see a bunch of pompano earlier while I was throwing those drum schools. They were chasing up the Gulf Shrimp back to the boat. So I got on a little pompano jig here, uh, tipped with a little bit of fish bite. I'll toss around, see if anything happens, but we do have those croakers. I'm gonna find some snook today, um, but no big deal, the sun is, uh, behind the clouds right now so it's I'm not in a rush to go snook fishing or anything just having fun for right now let's find a pompano there's a fish that's got to be a pompano dumped it a little jack or something what is this a little jack not what I was hoping for This one feels different. This one feels different. This one feels different. Is this a pompano? Ooh, I think this is. Ah. Another jack, man. Another jack. Ooh! Oh, no, 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 no! No way! Can you no way! I got him back. I got him back. <laughs> hey, gotta be careful releasing fish for that reason right there. That was about a six foot, uh, I want to say bull shark. I'm not 100% sure though. I am not 100% sure though. That's the first time that's ever happened to me though. That was crazy. Send this guy back. ladies oh you know what happens if i get a smaller lady if i can get a little lady fish it's game time i know i have croakers but lady fish man for snook there's something else all right i don't know if it was just the drum that brought the pompano in or what but i just can't find any more so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head up into the dock and fish for snook let's do it all right we got our baits right here big croaker croakers are some of the most fun baits to fish with because snook will smash them all right so we got a big 80 circle hook here 60 pound mono leader 40 pound braid fenwick lead inshore this is an eight foot then i got my pen slammer for 5500 here this is my go-to snook setup it is pretty heavy uh, i've caught big tarpon with it and it works great for snook too, especially around docks where you really gotta just stop them sometimes. Oops, snook on my bait. Come on, eat it. Oh, he's on. Got him. Got him. There it is, finally. A good one. That's about time we found a snook today. We'll loosen up a little bit here. Looks like he's about 30. Eh, maybe not 28. Nope, 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 nope. Reverse out of here. All right, we found one. There's about three sitting under the tree right there. Tossed the croaker in there, swam down, swam down low towards the bottom, and I just let him sit there, let him sit, and it was just feeling, feeling, feeling. I just felt that tap. And that was that snook. It was more like a thump, I should say. That's actually a good fish. Really good fish. I don't have my back camera set up here, so I'll just be quick with him. Grab and release. Yeah, looks like he's about 28, 29. Beautiful fish. Like I said earlier, we should probably be a little careful with our hands today after seeing that shark come up and smash the, uh, smash that, uh, what was it? Sailcat, I think it was. What beautiful fish. Alright, but you need to head your way back to the trees. Yep, 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 yep. 
He's kicking for me. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him. There he goes. All right, first snook of the day down, man. Sometimes the first one is the hardest. Got that black drum like probably two hours ago now. Maybe even three. It's almost midday, almost noon, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It was a good one. Good fight. Got to find some bigger than that, though. I think we definitely, definitely can. Here's another snow crate here. Decent, too, actually. He's on it. There's another one right here. I'll just drop it in there. First one did not really go for it. Followed it, but I never felt the bite. Oh, 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 that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. No. Got the thump, but didn't get the, didn't get the hook. Let me throw it back in there. Let me see if they'll come back for it. Croker just got super spooky, and then, oh, there it is again. He picked it up. All right? Yep, that's it. He got it that time. Yep. There it is. There it is. Man, that's fun. I do a lot of sight fishing, so I don't, um, go. see, that's why I like this heavy setup, I can really turn them. Every time you see them kind of jump up out of the water, that's me putting the stop to them, because they can't go nowhere but up. Uh, but yeah, I do, oh, come on, I do a lot of sight fishing, it's a good fish too, a lot of sight fishing, and I don't get to do a lot of the fishing where you just, like, throw a bait down, let it sit, and then, don't. And that was it. Those past two bites, Snook following them down to the bottom to bite them. And uh, that feeling, that thump is just, I mean, that's what's fish, what fishing is all about as well. The excitement of what is it. All right. There we go. That's two Snook now in, I'm going to say probably 10 minutes. It's a beautiful one. He's got a lot of green in his back. Probably from this water. A good one, a little bit smaller than the last one. This guy's probably 20, 29. I bet the last one was 30. So we'll spin him around here. Two fish. Beautiful, bright yellow fins too, which is really neat. I'll send you back on your way, buddy. Yep, there we go. <sighs> well, well, not either fish was a giant. I'll take those, and if we catch them at that rate, you know, I got no problem buying croakers if we can get them like that. Boom, boom, boom. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to retie a leader here because if you guys notice, I got about two feet of leader, or maybe even 18 inches, and I'm pretty frayed up there, so I probably won't go past there. Typically, I'll fish between two and three feet of leader. So I'm gonna cut it. This is 60, by the way, if I didn't mention earlier. It's pretty good for snook. Um, it's kind of on the medium end. Sometimes people use 80, sometimes people use 40. Especially with live bait, you usually probably want to go a little bit heavier because you're likely to catch bigger fish in my opinion. But we'll go ahead and retire real quick right here and get back to it. There's a snook way up under the trees here. I might do it. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's it. Go. There it is, man. We're on him. That did it. That was a good fish. He took a good run right there. And I'm telling you, my drag is not loose. Not loose. That is now three fish. In about the past 15 minutes, we're getting them to chew the croaker midday. Another good one. He looks like he's about 30 as well, maybe 29, somewhere in that range. The past three have just been really close in size. I came tight on him. Once I realized there was a fish on him, I'm like, mm, better get tight before he gets me up in some mangroves or something. How about that, man? Oh, yeah, good fish. Actually looks about the whoa about the exact same size as the first one I caught today. <laughs> yup. That's a good one. Check that out. Just smoking the croakers now. Beauty. That is a beauty. 
keep them in the water here and just spin them around. And there he goes. Quick and easy, man, knocking them out. I mean, I, if I see another one that size, I might start passing up on them because I only have maybe four croakers left and I would love to get a, I mean, a true giant today, but it's hard to pass them up when you see them. They're all just like floating up under these mangroves here. It's the best, man. It is the best. Sight fishing them and having them thump the croaker. Man, fishing is just fun in general. It's fun. I feel like I, <laughs> lots of crazy things happen. I'm like, man, that is the best thing in fishing. But like, there's so many exciting, fun things in fishing. But all right, let me throw on another croaker. We'll keep uh, keep looking. I hope I can find one like 35, 40 here in a second. Got a couple right here. Oh, snook on it. Snook on it. Oh. Um, oh. Here's a couple floating right here. Oh, there's three, four on it. Oh, he's going to get smoked. He's going to get smoked. He's up on the surface. One got him. Oh, mullet bow just jumped in the boat. Oh, that's it. Yep. Yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on. That's a big one. Or at least a much better one. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is a good one. This is a good one. Yep. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, that took a little while to get that last bite on that last croaker. Oh, that's a good fish. Come on. Come on. Luckily we're out in the middle here. That's a good one. That's definitely the biggest of the day right there. They were fired up on the croaker. There's about four of them there chasing it around in circles and the croaker was swimming up and swimming in circles in on the surface. I'll take it. Stopped him. Yeah, it's about a 32, I think. All right, let's get that head. Got him. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, there it is. Final fish of the day. There. This fish is about 32 inches if I had to guess. It seems like all four of the ones I caught were in that kind of 29 to 30, about the slot size range, but beautiful snook there to finish it off on the day. We made good use of the croakers. I definitely could have done better. There's a couple that I maybe have clunked into a dock or threw off, but also pulled the hook on a few snook. But hey, I'll take it. I think this was a lot, I had a lot more fun today than my last croaker video. And I felt like I put a whoop in on the snook today. I could have. Dude, if I had a few more uh, croakers in the boat, I think I could get a few more snook as well, but I'm fresh out. We're gonna put this guy back in the water. Let's go. All right, nice clear water here as well. Spin this guy around. Oh, ready to go. Yep, there he goes, right back. All right. Whew. I'm, uh, I'll throw a lure on for like just 10 minutes just to see. I've been seeing a, quite a few snook, but I think that's about it for the day. It's getting to midday. I can see these clouds starting to build up behind me here. I'm gonna be sliding out of the west and uh, could be thunderstorms, but I'll throw on a lure for like the next 10 minutes just to see what happens. All right, well, just trolled over to where, uh, I could start up the engine and stuff. But uh, yeah, that was the day. We, <laughs> we did pretty good, honestly. I, I started off really slow. I mean, really slow on one, the black drum, I, I, I was on the school for quite a while and just couldn't get them to pull the trigger. I finally found the combo they liked, which was that gulp shrimp, that four inch purple one, uh, on just a circle hook and just slowly just letting it drift through the school until one went over and picked it up. And uh, the snook and the croakers, that was, it was fun when they were eating. But to be honest, I, I found a lot of fish that didn't want to eat early and then like picky fish early, which I wasted a lot of my croakers on. And then I found the hungry fish later, which were eaten left and right. But that was when I had only a couple croakers left. Um, I only got 14 and I probably threw 
two of them off and nailed one into a dock and I pulled the hook on a couple. So I really wish you could, I could just go and load up on croakers and fish them for a day. But to be honest, they're really expensive. These guys were $3 a piece. Um, and that is always kind of the story with croakers, unless you catch them, which a lot of people don't normally catch them. They do buy them at the store. Uh, I mean, they're just really expensive. So that's that. That's the story of today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's hot out here. Storms are starting to roll in. And uh, I think that's it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I got a really sick couple episodes or videos coming soon that you guys are gonna enjoy. Nobody is expecting these ones coming. So be ready for that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. And if you have, also hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload. So it's time to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in that next video.